Figuring out where all those dollars do go was exactly what we've been working on, trying to determine the profits the insurance companies were making off the flood program. FEMA wasn't keeping track, but we finally got a hold of some key data. The expenses the companies report to state insurance regulators. And from FEMA, we got the fees it pays to the insurance companies. Using these numbers, we calculated the profits before taxes. Companies have varying ways of accounting for their expenses and revenue, but without access to their internal books, this was the best possible look at the scale of profits. Here's all the FEMA data. This is all the money that FEMA has paid the insurance companies. We took our findings to the former head of the flood program, Bob Hunter, who's also an actuary. So you deduct those expenses from what they received and you got their... Our analysis showed that between 2011 and 2014, total profits for all the companies in the program averaged about $325 million a year. Is that too much money? Oh, definitely. Because, it, it, look, we're talking about somewhere near 30% uh, uh, profit margin compared to what they receive as payments, and they have no risk. So what do you make of this, then? Well, it's a, obviously a sweetheart deal. There was one number that really jumped out. With all the claims in the wake of Sandy, the profits were more than $400 million because they're handling a lot of claims that year and they get they get make a lot of money when they handle claims. When a big storm hits then, they make more money. Yeah, at the very time you need them to make less money if anything because you, because of the burden is going to be borne by the taxpayers, they make a killing. We explained our methodology and results to the insurance industry representatives. They disputed our 30% estimate and said profits are really 10 to 15% after taxes but provided no additional data. They also said several companies have left the program because the profits don't justify participating. The GAO is now examining how the insurance companies are paid and how much they make. FEMA says it's also looking into these questions. <laughs> 